big, 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 he's got me. So, if you haven't figured out already, I am a foster, um, and I'm chasing big brim, hopefully today. My favorite time of year to come up here for brim. Um, sort of when the big sea brim come into the, um, sort of in the channel, um, into the oyster racks. So yeah, the plan today is basically, hopefully I can get some big brim. So, um, Obviously the Cranker Crab is definitely coming. Uh, if you're wondering the gear I'm using, it's all in the description, check it out. Because um, I do say it a lot in my videos, so it becomes a bit repetitive. So let's get out there. It's a pretty cool winter morning. Um, we're pretty much full swing in winter now. It's a good, good time of year to go fishing in my opinion. So very underrated, there's not many people on the water. And um, yeah, it's great. Honestly, I love it. So anyway. Um, Keep watching the video because we've got a cracker down our hands, I reckon. So, yeah. We're in business. We are in Brimbo business here, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm in the paddocks first. And uh, we've still got the tide coming in. So, yeah. Leave the beanie on for a sec, because it is still a bit chilly. It's a little bit chilly this morning. I don't reckon it's going to take too long to get our first fish to be honest. So all right so we've got the crab on. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the UV purple color. It's probably one of my go-to colors for brim fishing. So basically you want to get as close to the paddock close to the fence as you can without obviously um getting snagged of course and it's more about keeping an eye on your line because yeah this type of fishing they'll um if you don't keep an eye on it they'll certainly brick you that's for sure 
So basically, I think I'm just going to flow. I would usually go against the um, the current here, but we'll, we'll flow along with it. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Your casting's got to be pretty accurate for this fishing. Yep. Yeah, that was like second cast. <laughs> oh, I think I've actually got a good one here. Back away, back away. Back away. Oh, I think I've got a really good one off the bat. Oh. Do I? I think it is a good one. It's really told me. Wow, I think it's a cracker off the start. I don't know if I'm over exaggerating yet. Um, yeah, he's over 30. <laughs> I wasn't expecting one that quick. Oh yeah, nice. He's like a 30. He's not too bad. He's like a 33, 34 centimeter brim. Actually, we might um, get ourselves away from here. I don't speak anymore. Um, I think that was second or third cast. And this land of this cracker. <laughs> there he is. He's like probably going to go 34, th nearly 35, I reckon. He's got a bloody head on him. Nice brim. Um, I'm not really bloody ready for this. <laughs> yep, so that was my second or third cast. I actually think it was my third. And I've caught a 36 and a half centimetre brim. <laughs> what a great start. What a beautiful start. There he goes. Well, if that's a sign to come, hang on. They're munching along, eh? Definitely hear them. Yep. On. Ooh, this actually feels like a trevally. It's heavy. Ooh. What is this? It's not like peeling drag, but it's, oh, what is this? Oh, no, nah, it's another good brim. There's one following him, I think. Oh, I think, oh, this, wow. Oh, another, you know, over 30 centimetre brim. No, oh, he's not that big. He was just scrapping like on his side and I thought it might have been a trevally for a second. It's a time of year where you can get trevally. Yeah, so. You can't beat the crab. There it is. I might just get a measurement. Say 32 and a half years. So. Not a bad fish there. Not a bad fish at all. They certainly do like the crab. Little UV crab. UV purple, I think it is, this one. Oh, yep. Oh, got him. See the silver. You can see the silver. He's not a bad one again. It's a nice one. He's over 30. Truly again. Yeah, nice. Nice brim. Oh. Oh, beauty. Beauty brim. Cracking fish. Let's get a measurement on him. 
yeah like he's a <laughs> he's a 34 centimeter brim that's insane a 34 a 36 and a half and like a 32 nice come on buddy there he goes bloody crap on me bloody poo like just cast there we go that's exactly where you want it Oh, yep. On the wind. Uh, feels like an alright fish. Probably not the biggest of the day, I don't think. Oh, he's got a bit of go on him. Yeah, he's got a bit of go. Yeah, this might be an alright fish. Uh, Want to keep that rod nice and low? Oh, he's okay. Yeah, he's over 30. Are we going to get a fish under 30? <laughs> so that's number four. We might beat 32. Maybe. You might beat the... um. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's... um. Those weird... That weird colouring. That yellow colouring in them. If anyone else knows, I think... Is that the brim spawning, like rubbing up against each other? Is that why they've got the, that discoloring marks? I'm sure someone will know that answer. They can comment. I can even look at you. So I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if I'm correct or not, but see all that um, yellow coloring on them. Like there's sort of sores there. I reckon that's um, them spawning. Well, we know they're in spawning season, so it probably is, to be honest. So that is uh, another 32. Yep. Lovely fish. Lovely little brim. <laughs> if you want to come up here and catch big brim, pretty much May through to Oh, July is a good time. So pretty much peak winter. That's what you want to be doing. Damn it. Yep, big brim. Big, 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 big. He's got me. I'm gone, I reckon. Oh, I just saw the line tick. Oh, he's a really big brim. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, he's out, is he? Oh. Oh, no. I got him out briefly, hey. Oh. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, it's a donkey. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Oh. Oh my god, what a fish. Maybe experience helped me there. Oh, that's gonna be need to be changed. That leader, I reckon. If I had six then, gone. See you later. Four, gone. Because the line was rubbing. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. All right, he's probably he's probably 36 again, but wow! <laughs> I just seen the line just go, and I knew straight away. I'm like, yep, this is probably game over here. Once I felt the weight, oh, how did I get him out? I pulled him through like the gap there. I don't care what people say about brim fishing. I absolutely love it. It's such an underrated thing to do. This is going to be in the, the top two, in top three. Now that, 
That's a good brim, that one. What a cracking brim. Check him out. You. Awesome. Beautiful foster brim. Oh, get a measurement on him for sure. I'm, I'm going to say 36 again. Maybe bigger. No, uh, he's bigger. Oh, well, he's actually the same size as the last one. He's 36 and a half. So there you go. He goes into the top three. It's a two 36 and a half and a 34. Wow. What a session I'm having early on. Give him a nice release. Look at him in the water. Man, these brim are solid, eh? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> solid fish. Solid fish. It's a nice morning. I feel like we should get the drone up. A nice little morning like this. As soon as the current moves, I think that's when the brim will start biting again. So we had a bit of a spell, got the drone up, had a bit of a look around, saw heaps of mullet, a little bit shallow here, Oop. hopefully it wakes him up, a bit of noise, yep, there we go, might have woke him up. <laughs> First one since the tide change. Um, he's all right. Just give me a little bit of run for my money. Jesus. Oh, he really wants to go back, doesn't he? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's okay. He's another, like, you know. Oh, don't get after that. He's another, you know, like, <laughs> 33 model. 32, 33. Wow. Made a bit of a noise when I hit the pole, and then I was like, you know what? That might um, wake him up. Might have definitely got his attention, anyway. Ugh. Another solar brim. Wow. This average is insane today. Insane average. Like that's another 33 and a half, you know what I mean? Like they're all 32 and up. It's awesome to see. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. getting the cramp in my oh oh I got pain in my in the side of my ribs 
Oh, I was like getting like a cramp. I couldn't concentrate. Oh, that was a really good fish. Oh, got really tight in my, the side of my ribs then. Couldn't do anything. Oh, I seen him though, he was a good fish. Really good fish. Oh man. It's time to give that crank a crab up anyway. The claws were pretty much gone on it. So we'll put on another color. Actually, the UV's in here. Uh, we might try another color though. Might try sand, I think. Give the sand crab a go. All right, so the morning's sort of slowed down a little bit. Um, yeah, we're probably on about 10 fish though. And the smallest, you know, is like 32. So that's pretty, that's pretty nuts. So I've got a 36 and a half, another 36 and a half, and a 34 as the top three. So pretty good fish. Um, yeah, all on the crab. So I'll probably continue to use the crab. I'm gonna go away from the paddocks now and sort of head up towards some sheds, some floating pontoons, and sort of hover around um, that area, I think, just to change it up and fish the deeper water. Uh, since the tide is dropping right now, we'll, um, yeah, we'll fish that deeper water and hopefully we can get some, uh, some more numbers. And yeah, a 40 would be nice. I've actually been rolled <laughs> uh, two or three times now, so. Yeah, only got three crabs left, but yeah, we'll be right. Uh, yeah, keep watching. Gonna head up here and uh, yeah, start fishing. Yep. Ah, there's a brim. <laughs> He's on a bad room either. Oh. No, he's... I was trying to get to that pole. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. Nice brim. He's probably one of the smaller ones for the day, actually. I might just tuck in here for a sec. Get out of the current. See if he goes the smallest of the day. He probably will actually. He'll probably be under 32 this one. Oh no, it's 32. <laughs> yep, that is the smallest fish of the day. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Do I have one? Yeah, I got one. Oh, that's a good fish, I think. Wow. Oh, that's a nice brim. It's a nice brim. Wow. It's in the 30s. Oh. He's a good brim bow. Come on, mate. Get in. Yes. Oh. That is a healthy brim. Oh. The fishing today, for size, is phenomenal. Look at that. That's a cracker. Oh, this is why we come to foster, people. This is why we come to foster. And what do we got? I'm gonna say 35. No, he's, he's 34 and a half, he is. So that puts him into third place for today. Cracking brim. Oh, nice brim. There he goes. Whew. Imagine those three in a comp. That's second place, first place, thanks for coming.
Yep. <coughs> Fish on. I think he's alright, this one. Oh. Yeah, he's okay. It's a good fish. Oh, he's not a bad fish at all. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, that's a keg, that one. Oh, check that out. That's a solid brim. Oh, that's probably nearly the biggest of the day. It barely fought, though. Barely ah. fought. Oh. Look at that brim, that's a cracker. That's in the top three for sure. Yep, there it is. It's 38. <laughs> 38 centimetres. Wow, look at that. That's a good fish. He barely fought. Didn't give me any curry at all. Got him out easy. Thought he was a 30. Check this out. That, that's a horse of a brim. That's a 38 centimeter brim. Look at that. Okay, nice release. Off he goes. Oh. <sighs> Was um, a bit of a slow stint there for a bit, but I um, just snagged one along here, this floating pontoon. Where I've done really well in the past, but barely fought. He was um not fighting. Really sluggish. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway, good fish. That gets me to a 38, a 36 and a half, and a 36 and a half as the three biggest so far. So that's a really good bag. A really good bag. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That's gonna do us for today on the brim. Pretty good session in the end. I reckon we probably got between 20, 25 brim. Um, we started to get a few small ones later on, which I probably won't even put in the video, but yeah, no, I'm happy with today. We only come up for seven, eight hours for a solo single day sesh. So yeah, no, good little sesh. Uh, all on, pretty much all on the crabs. So uh, honestly, can't you can't beat them like they are honestly one of the best brim lures i've ever used um, if you're fishing structure um and all that so yeah really good day i'm happy with it now uh, that 38 topped it in the end so that was um a nice little ending to the day so anyway i'm heading to melbourne next week for origin 2 um hopefully we can get a win down there gonna be with elijah uh and my partner so That'd be good. Uh, so there might not many be many videos after this one because we're staying there for a little bit uh, as well. <clears throat> so yeah, that should be good. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. You.